Crafting Friends. I'm coming today with two more entries into my 1,000 plus subby share the love giveaway um, challenge. And this first one is um, an envelope from Sherry Wolf that I received um, a couple days ago. So I'm going to share um, the entry with you. So, let me kind of get this off. That was her address, so I don't want to show that. Um, let me see here. I can figure out this little envelope here. Ah, here we go. Sorry about that, guys. I should have done this beforehand. All right. So, this is her adorable, sweet card. Love her painted image. Love all the flowers. Love all the sparkle and glitter. And then, these are the adorable images that she colored up. Oh, your coloring is so amazing, Sherry. And um, when I was watching her video, she said she has such a hard, she had a hard time coloring these images for me because she usually picks her paper first and then colors her images. And that's how I always um, do it as well. I did um, last year um, when my mom was in the hospital and I was there, vis you know, with her spending some time, I did, um, you know, do bring some coloring and some markers, and I found that it, you know, it's, it is, you can usually find um, pattern papers in our stash to match with the images that have already been colored up. So thank you so much, Sherry, for these, and I love the sparkle and glitter that you added to this Magnolia Tilda, and this image is just adorable and beautiful colors, so I'm going to have so much fun adding those to my projects. And then the second entry comes from Cynthia, who is the Scrappy Bookworm One here on YouTube. This is her beautiful wrapped package. Put a bunch of beautiful tissue paper and some gorgeous washi. So I'll try and save the tissue paper. Okay, so this says for your challenge. I love her tag. I love the pink and this really cute little jar punch. So super cute. These fun Daiso bags that lots of people get. Irene from Crafty Irene is so sweet to gift me um, some of them because I don't have a Daiso in my state. Or one close by. Oh, that's a gorgeous card. So it says the Scrappy Bookworm one, and she used the um, Lady's Diary. I love the swirl, the little button, the little thimble, little sewing machine. So super cute. And then all her information is on the back, so I'm not going to share that. And here's her adorable images that she colored up for me. So cute. So she's this beautiful little greeting farm little fairy. Love this little um, Abigail book room. I have that stamp. So cute. And you did such a great job of coloring, Cynthia. So much fun. So going to be so fun to use. And then um, she sent me a few goodies. There's a few embellies to play with. Like I said, I love these um, paper clips. Those jars are really cute too. I had that jar punch, but I gave it to my sister-in-law because so I figured she would probably use it more than I would. Oh, she sent me some of her handmade embellies. So she sent me some of her beautiful handmade paper clips. And these are gorgeous because she used the Ladies Diary Graphic 45 paper. But then she um, actually punched a hole and hung some charms. And she glossy accented them. Her paper flowers are truly amazing. And then she did some buttons with the graphic 45 paper. She did some bottle caps and she flattened them in her cuddle bug and then she put the graphic 45 uh, ladies diary images in there and then put the glossy accents and it looked like she added glitter too while the glossy accents was like still wet. Or or maybe she did the stickles first and then 
to glossy accents over that. I'm not sure, but I love those. So gorgeous, Cynthia. Congrats to you on your 1,000 plus Sebi milestone. Another adorable paper clip with those ribbons. Oh, she sent me a little box. Oh, that is so cute, Cynthia. Look at the little high heel charm and the embossing on the tag behind it, this metal piece and the bling. And she put a um, a little pull on it. Oh, it's our easel card. Oh, it's like a tag, but it's an easel card. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, and then she filled it up with the goodies inside. Oh my goodness, so some beautiful sequins. Some amazing stick pins. Look at those stick pins. Oh, I love the roses. Oh my goodness, she made, wow, she made leaves out of seed beads. Oh my goodness, those are amazing, Cynthia. Oh, they're so amazing. And look at this beautiful spool little bobble. Oh, and then she sent, I'm not going to take them out, but she sent me some little paper clips with brave, hope, trust, faith, wish, and joy. Oh, how sweet. Oh, these are just perfect. And everything fit in here so beautifully and looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to display this in my craft room. I need to watch her video because she did a tutorial on this. And I would like to make one too. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Cynthia. And then she says, Merry Christmas. And she put a little heart, a little unpunctuated um, flower. So cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, how cute. So it says Christmas wishes, let it snow. I think that's the Stamps of Life stamp set. Beautiful doilies, gorgeous glitter. Oh, and this is like a bunch of embellies. Oh my goodness, so she cut me a bunch of trees. Oh, these are mittens, snowflakes. Oh, little tiny snowmen. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. And big, um, big snowflake. That's like a punch or a die. Oh, and I love this pocket. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. I have to make a few more Christmas cards to send out to some of my crafty friends. And um, it's just kind of been a couple stressful days. Um, my daughter's having to make some um, decisions. It says, uh, to Marla from Cynthia, some pocket tags for you to use. Oh, how cute. So anyway, um, my daughter has made the decision to come back to um, our state and she's going to actually live um, with my parents for a while until she kind of gets a job and gets on her feet. So that has made me really happy. It's going to be um, all good. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. I think this is a die that she got. Oh, that is so adorable. This will be perfect for like a little gift card for the holidays. Look at the washi tape and the little Christmas bulb ornament charm. Oh, thank you so much, Cynthia. You're so sweet and thoughtful, and you so inspire me, and I love this one with the pink and the heart. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. I just love watching your videos, and I love you and your husband's Macchiato Mondays. You guys are just such a sweet and adorable um, couple. Oh my goodness, she sent me some handmade flowers and some more of those seed bead leaves. Tuesday morning, um, my Tuesday morning had a ton of the seed beads. I should uh, get you some and send it to you. We're making all these beautiful, and I love these beads, how you made these um, flower centers out of beads. These are amazing flowers. Those are going to look beautiful on a project. So, Thank you ladies for watching and thank you so much to Sherry for your beautiful images and card and thank you um, Cynthia for 
your beautiful card and images and especially for all of the extra um, special love um, it just really touches my heart when um, you guys are so um, thoughtful and generous and I hope you have wonderful happy holidays and thank you for participating in my challenge um, you still have a couple you have tomorrow the challenge in so you have um, you know if you get a video in by then um, I'll count your entries in um, I hope to do the drawing on Friday or Saturday because my life is going to be a little crazy I need to um, go help my daughter move back um, to our state and so that in itself is like a 12 hour you know drive so um, I'm going to be really busy for um, a few days and then um, my parents are coming to visit uh, for the holidays for a few days so um, I'll try I want to just get my winner picked and I'll try and hopefully see if there's any more um, videos hope I didn't miss any that entered my challenge um, you still have part of today and tomorrow so thank you ladies for watching and happy crafting